your number one source for sports. 97.1, The Fan. With the Memorial Tournament director, Dan Sullivan. Dan, great to see you. Thanks, Anthony. Uh, this is another uh, star-studded field. I it think is. you have seven of the top 10 or 11 right now confirmed. We do, and uh, we hope to be about eight or nine when we get all done with it. And um, more importantly, on the FedEx Cup points, I think we'll be around maybe 18 or 19 out of 20, which would be tremendous. So we got some names to announce in the coming weeks and hope everything, everything lines up correctly, but I think we're in good shape. Got to be in good shape when you get what we call the big four, correct? Yeah. So yeah. you'll have Dustin. Yep. Jordan Spieth, Rory McIlroy, and Jason Day? Yeah, we're waiting on Jordan, but we okay. think he's coming. The other three have all committed for sure, and, and uh, so we're in great shape. I mean, it, it, honestly, I think that we'll miss Sergio. Unfortunately, he won't be coming in. He'll stay in Europe. And Henrik Stenson has a, um, a conflict in Sweden with the Swedish Open. Other than that, we'll have everyone else. Uh, your defending champ is William McGirt. He came in here and went uh, on the hospital visit today. Yeah. That's kind of special when you get a defending champ to come through. Does it happen often? It doesn't happen often, yeah. and William was very proactive about it. Once he won and it all settled in, he called us up and said, whenever your media day is, I'm coming in, and I want to make sure that I do the right thing and, and um, visit whatever you want us to visit. And, and so his wife came in, Sarah. Uh, last night we sat with our vice chairman who lead the tournament and then this morning we were able to go to the hospital, took a nice two hour tour through uh, the NICU and other parts of the hospital and then he came out here and enjoyed hanging out with you guys and uh, he's, a, he's a gracious winner, he's extremely appreciative of what happened last year, changed his life and uh, he's played really well since last year so maybe he can back it up. Talk about the fan experience this year. Is there anything new for the fans when they come to the Memorial? Yeah, so what we're trying to do is create a couple of pockets, we'll call it pockets of fun out on the golf course. Uh, we, we have the greatest in the world playing the game, uh, but not everyone's out here just to watch golf. And so uh, we're going to create a little atmosphere on number 12 where we'll have some Adirondack chairs out and, and there'll be a chair side weight service. So you can sit out and watch a beautiful golf hole. I think you birdied it. And um, we'll sit there and uh, allow you to um, order food and drink and just hang out for the day. Um, at the Patron Village, which is right off number, uh, number 10, we're going to have a bunker that you can act like you're playing out of the 18th hole bunker in the front left. Um, on the 19th hole, out at number 6. So when folks are leaving the golf tournament, you'll be able to hang out in an area that we're calling the 19th hole, 4 to 8 every day, Wednesday through Saturday. We'll have music, food trucks. Um, a bar, and people can just hang at Jumbotron. We'll just have a place where you can uh, go and hang out before you take off. That's where Uber is going to pick up. That's where cabs will go. And just a destination as people leave the golf course, a chance to extend their relationship or their opportunity to just to enjoy the time out here. Okay, so let's talk about the course. Anything different that Jack wants to tweak this year? No, not at all. I mean, we, we, from last year to this year, um, they did uh, change the grasses around, the collars and, and uh, the approaches. Um, and so it's just a uh, probably more plush golf course than what it's been in the past. And, and I think at the end of the day, everyone who's watching these best players in the world compete, they're going to enjoy um, a, an incredible golf course. The purse keeps 8. hanging 8. 7 million. Oh. How points. much is the winner going to walk away with? Uh, I think it's 1.7, 1.8. And uh, you know, we grow by 200,000 from last year to this year. And at 8.7, we're just below uh, the FedEx Cup playoffs, just below the uh, World Golf Championships, and in great position to, to um, uh, you know, treat the best in the world to an incredible purse. Will there be any local exemptions, any special exemptions we should know about? Yeah, we'll be talking about exemptions in the coming weeks, and I think it's a combination of, uh, you'll be surprised, some past winners that needed exemptions, as well as uh, some younger guys coming up, and it's a nice mix for us. Dan, terrific. This is uh, how many years now for the Memorial? 42. 42 yeah, and going yeah. strong. Yeah. Uh, has Jack been in lately to inspect his home? You know, he came out here during the Legends Luncheon a couple weeks ago and, and when we had Greg Norman in and went around the golf course and really um, thought it was coming around. Obviously spring is always tough around here, but once the leaves start coming out and the grass starts paying attention to all the uh, enhancements that we put on it to get it going during springtime, I think it's in great shape now. And, and I know Jack will appreciate the way it looks come tournament time. How about badges? Where do people go? How do they? How can they enjoy the tournament if they if they want to come all week or just a couple of days? How does that work? Yeah, for the easiest way to do it is mtbadges.com, and if you go on that or our website, thememorialtournament.com, it's going to give you everything you need to know about the memorial, all the activities Monday through Wednesday on all the practice rounds, and then Thursday through uh, Sunday for tournament time. People ask me all the time about cell phone usage. 
Uh, what is the rule for fans that want to come in with their cell phones? Yeah, so it's evolved over time, and you're allowed to bring your cell phone out. you got to keep it on uh, mute or silent at all times. Uh, we do have areas on the golf course where you can make a phone call, and you can use your, your, uh, your phone camera as you're going around the golf course. We just don't want you to do it within the field of play. So when they're, when they're on the tees, when they're fairways, when they're in the greens and, and they're in actual competition, you can't use your phones, but otherwise you can. Milkshakes are still going to be in high demand yes, for the they players. Are. Always, I imagine. always. We keep them under lock and key. Good thing. Thanks, yeah. Dan. Appreciate it. Thanks, Anthony. 97.1, the fan.